fantastic. We never make mistakes. Never. Back to work. Yeah. We've got more late night laser beam work going on here. Laser beams. Laser beams. Very cool little gadgets. So we've got the laser light painting down the center line of the aircraft, up the vertical fin. And up here I'm working on the nose, nose skinning. Fireball to instrument panel. Getting it done. But I run away up to do some more work on the aircraft, but just called in to do a little job first, back of nowhere. This guy's making out that he's doing some work. No one's home. Look at that. We've got legs on. We've got legs. We've got shockies. We've got shockies. And we've got a hole in the back of the shed. Whoa. -ho. And a tail wheel. It's all been happening up here. And a red. <coughs> Some tarps for it. That looks interesting. Very interesting. It looks good. What's going on? <laughs> You're hiding in here. <laughs> back to work. Oh, come on, it's back to work. Baby. 
Come on, stop! <laughs> All right, crank up. Righto, today is the first day of starting the wiring of the aircraft, so I've uh, done this so far to the dash. I've got the iPad cover mount fitted, just a few of the switches and instruments, it's looking good, but today I'm on the joystick, so I've got to extend every wire from these buttons on the joystick so the wires can extend down through the inside the joystick and then out to the components good fun Okay, Hornet update. It's now uh, early November. He's taking shape. Dad's been working on the doors. So we now have the door trims, seals in now on both the front two doors. Door frames are manufactured up here. Waiting for more work. So we are now strengthening the rear cargo window on the starboard side. That's gone in now. We've now started working on the electrical side now. So this time made a battery tray for two of our lithium earthx batteries. So two batteries two manual isolator switches here uh, other side is the avionics tray there's going to be VHFs and trim controllers and other devices on the starboard side there uh, fuel header tanks going in the back right hand corner and uh, all plumbed up with solid fuel lines through to the firewall and up to the wing tanks, trying to avoid that horrible fuel smell that happens within the cockpit. Um, dash is just sitting in there, all painted up and fitted up. So we'll just put that there for sizing now and to help out with the windscreen design formation, which will be this morning hopefully. This day I installed the electrical pass-throughs for the main power into the engine bay. A few lines going in shortly and we're just getting the engine ready for the wiring harnesses and throttle cable linkages design all coming together but yes today's 
windscreen day. <laughs> oh, okay, Mike. There you go, you got the boss here. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Oh, right, right. <laughs> You're coming to the right time. Just, just in time to grab the paint gun. Oh, I see. Oh, right, right. It's the big spraying job, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, right, yes. Yep, yeah, right. And the right. bright red yeah. wingtips. Oh, I see. So there's red accent also inside. Yeah, yeah. Righto, exciting milestone. First coat of Nardo Grey in the cockpit. Master painter gardener over here. So this will enable us to start all the internal wiring now. The forward part of the cockpit. Looking good. Ah! 